I'm about to get four platinum trophies on four PS3 Spider-Man games. Starting off with Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. These are super rare games. If you're wondering how I got them, I went on eBay. $75 for this? There are 14 levels in this game and each one of them has their own boss fights and trophies. The first step was to complete all of them, but I got my first trophy from completing the tutorial. It introduces you to the four different Spider-Mans you can play as in this game. Look at that, first trophy, lead on M-dubs. After getting a trophy for defeating 100 enemies in combat, it was time to take on a boss. These levels all follow the same format. You basically fight the same boss multiple times and at the end, you get a trophy. There it is though, survival of the fittest. We got two, no harm done. Okay, I don't know what that's for. Turns out that was for completing a level without dying, but now we have to complete all the rest of the levels and defeat all the other bosses. Some of the notable ones are Deadpool, Sandman, Goblin, Vulture, but there's many more. And I would have to continue that until I get to the final boss. Along the way, I was also unlocking miscellaneous trophies related to collectibles and combat. And then I made it to the final boss. So here's the final mission of the game. And we need to go up against this fight with Mysterio. So we're just gonna zip from platform to platform. Okay, we're climbing up this wall. Press circle to web pull. Oh snap, we got him. Spam circle, spam circle, spam circle. Ooh. Oh, so they're gonna make you play as all four Spider-Mans in this one fight, I guess. So now we're actually taking on Mysterio in a fight. If I get my rage meter build up, I can easily take all these dudes out, which we're about to do right now. Look at that. Oh, okay, so we blow up those spheres and it deals damage to him, got it. So just like that, like that, like that, nice. And I did that exact process that you just saw until I got to the end of the fight. Okay, look, now now I have the uh, prompt, press circle to web pull, come on. Oh, it's not, come on, attack, web pull Mysterio, not all these enemies. Okay, okay. We're gonna have to kill them. Okay, there we go. Now we spam circle. Yep. So we're falling out the sky. This is actually really cool. Do we have to go through these rings? Oh, I think there's, there's gaps and we have to go through those, those gaps like between those shapes, I think. And I can slow down time to make it easier, like that. And of course, okay, we're getting we're getting quite close. There we go. Punch him! Punch him! Nice. And you go through this process two more times. Each one gets progressively harder. But once you beat it, you move on into the last Spider-Man. And now, for the original Spider-Man, I think they call it the Amazing Spider-Man. When we take out this first batch of enemies, there's a rock I have to throw at him. I could just spam this attack all day long. Okay. Now it's prompting us to use the rock. So press circle, spam circle, and kick it towards him. That's how you deal damage to the man. Move on into the next location. There's another rock right here. So I assume you do the same thing. Boom! And it was on the next platform that I had the opportunity to get the 200 hit combo trophy. 135, 152, 161, 168, 171, 173, 175. Oh, we're about to get it! Yes! That's 220 right there. The trophy's gonna pop. 200! Nice! And the rock is available to throw. Circle, circle, circle. Boom. I think we go to the middle now because he's down. Bro, my controller disconnected mid-fight? Like, come on. It's literally connected to the thing. I don't understand how that's happening. Nice. Excuse me? It's literally connected through the wire. Come on. Oh, well, we got final curtain call. That trophy was for beating Mysterio. I also got two for completing the game on easy and normal. Easy as pie.
And is this normal? After all that, we are 52% done with the trophies. We do have to complete the levels on hard, which could be challenging, but for right now, we're gonna go for collectible trophies. The main one I had to do was for collecting all the golden spiders. These spiders are hidden all throughout each level. You just gotta play through and collect them all. Okay, we're finally about to get this bug collector trophy for all the spiders in the game. And man, this was kind of a grind. Cause there's eight per level and there's 14 levels. You can do the math, I'm a drop out, but this is the last one. And that should give us bug collector trophy. Let's see it, where? Delayed trophies on PS3. Ha, ah, there it is, bug collector. Finally, that's over with. Now it was time to get platinum medals on every level on hard difficulty, which means I had to play through all the levels on hard while speed running, getting 19,000 combat rating and collecting a certain amount of emblems per level. For the 19,000 combo rating, I would just spam the same combo throughout every level. For the emblems, it's simple. Just run around and collect as many as you need for that specific level. And for the speed run, it's simple. Just beat it under the time you need. Now it's possible to get all three requirements done in the same run, but sometimes I would have to play a level multiple times because I might fail the speed run while going for the collectibles or I might not get the combat rating and I'd have to do it over. Kind of annoying, but I had to do it. Now there's three trophies for this, one for getting four levels done, one for getting eight levels done, and then one for getting 12 levels done. That's it. We got 20,000 combo rating. Finally, all the platinum medals are done. I'm about to get the trophy. Yes, spectacular. The grind is over. We still got a few more trophies for the platinum though, and then we're gonna move on into the next Spider-Man game. Now that I got all the medals done, I just had to beat this last level on hard difficulty for another trophy. You guys already saw me beat this boss, so I won't show it again. We're about to get the trophy for completing the game on hard. Yes, hard pressed. Ooh, we're so close to the platinum. Now that I've beat the game on hard, we have to complete the web of destiny here. Those gold circles are the challenges that I already completed. The silver ones or the gray ones are the ones that I haven't. So for example, tornado chaser, stay airborne for 30 seconds by web zipping on objects hurled by Sandman's tornado. That's the only challenge I need for that level. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I loaded into this level and continuously zipped to these flying objects. And it was that simple. And just like that, Tornado Chaser is complete. Now I still needed 21 challenges for the trophy, so I just went through each one, did the challenges, until I got to the last one. Okay, here we are. This is where we do the last challenge. We have to throw that ball at five thugs. So we just got one out of five. And after we do this, we'll get the trophy. Go in this mode and throw it like that. Three out of five, simple. That ball is bouncing around like crazy, sheesh. There we go. Four. No, don't grab that. Oh, we got it. Play ball. And we're going to get our trophy. Manifest Destiny. And now we can also upgrade uh, the character upgrade. So if I just buy all of these, I will get another trophy. So we'll get two in one, basically. And let's see it. The complete package. For this last trophy for the Platinum, we need to get through a boss fight without taking any damage. So I'm here fighting Hammerhead. And he's shooting his Gatling gun at me. If I just continue to run in circles then he won't be able to hit me and eventually he's gonna lose track of me like he did right there so i avoid the lights and simply get behind him and then it says circle for takedown and we punch him in the face and it does major damage just like that now we got to be careful and we're gonna repeat this process and then get to the second boss fight and first boss fight or first phase is down we gotta take no damage on the second part as well to damage him, you have to throw something at him to get his attention and then get him to shoot these turbine things or whatever these engines are. They blow up and disperse smoke everywhere and then you get on top and then you do a takedown. Come on, bro. Are you serious? The turbine blocked. Again? Oh my. He shot me, man. I gotta restart the entire fight now. Okay, okay. Okay, take down. If we do it once, we can do it two more times. Get his attention. Get up there. Okay. That's two. We need to do one more. One more. And then we there's like a final attack that he does. It's very easy to dodge. So this is number two. It, bro, if I mess up, I'm going to be like so upset. I have a feeling. It's just going to happen. Wait for him to shoot. Okay. Throw it now. Throw it now. Oh my gosh. The thing blocked it. I'm so scared right now. Okay, okay, here we go. No! Oh, 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 it worked, it worked. That worked. Okay, okay. We're about to get a platinum. If I, if I don't mess up here, 
We get the platinum. Hold on. I gotta pause and just watch. I gotta pause it and just make sure I'm doing everything right. Okay, so we take him down. And he still has a little bit of health left, but there's no more turbines. So he's gonna start shooting rockets. Oh my gosh. He's gonna start shooting rockets and bullets, and we have to dodge him. Oh! Oh! I dodged it! No! Oh my gosh! He didn't crash into the wall like he was supposed to. Yes! 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 I think we did it. Okay, we just gotta punch him in the face and dodge. Come on! Ugly! I think that's it! I think we're gonna get it! That's it! The boss fight is over! We can move on into the next Spider-Man game! Right here, if I get the trophy! Yes! Missed me! Does whatever a spider can! Let's move on into the next Spider-Man game! Let's go! $57 for this game that doesn't even come in the proper case! This is Spider-Man Edge of Time. The first step of getting this platinum was to play through the story on normal. In this game, you get to play as modern Spider-Man and 2099 Spider-Man. During my playthrough, I got a lot of story-related trophies and combat-related trophies. There are also, I think, 92 golden spiders for me to collect throughout the levels. And there are other golden spiders we'd have to get through challenges, which some of them were actually pissing me off. I wasn't raging like God of War video, but man, it was kind of annoying. And so eventually I beat the game and I was awarded four trophies for this. Boss of bosses! and intrepid adventurer and read all about it fearless front facer sheesh it's like four trophies now that the story was done i had to go back and get some spiders that i missed throughout my first playthrough i also had to buy all combat upgrades oh alchem hacked out nice but now it's time to do some challenges that got pretty annoying all right right here we have what's called the web of challenges it's a little different than the previous spider-man game for example in this one defeat black cat and her seven clones without taking more than five hits to earn a gold medal there are several trophies tied to completing these challenges so we're gonna go ahead and do all of them and we need to get gold medals on every one this is an example of a challenge that makes you build up a certain number combo in a short amount of time in this one you have to defeat a group of enemies while limiting the amount of hits you take and in this one i have to traverse through this area while also limiting the amount of hits i take but those were quite easy i just wanted to show you an example of what those were like so you have a feeling of what the rest were like because a lot of were very similar but there's one that wasn't so easy bro in that stupid pipe bro oh my gosh i keep hitting that same pipe man what literally how 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 i'm literally moving to the side of that how is that hitting me i don't understand that the same exact pipe every single time. Reach the end of the free fall without taking any hits to earn a gold medal. It's a 4,500 meter free fall. And that pipe section always came when I had around 1,800 meters left. So with each fail, I had to restart from the beginning. And for some reason, I could not get past that pipe every single time. Bro, if I hit this same pipe again, I'm telling you I'm gonna break. How? I'm... Um... No! Oh my... And after so many tries, I finally got through those pipes. But I wasn't excited because I still had to get through the rest of the obstacles without taking any hits. I've been stuck on a stupid challenge, man. If I... Huh. If I... Yes! 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 Oh man, that was tough. And that was probably the hardest of the 68 challenges I had to complete. After doing all of them, I set myself up for four trophies. Yes! Yes! That's gotta be it consummate completist that was such a grindy trophy now we can get some of these other ones too spider snagger supreme ha huh? look at that two back-to-back -back gold trophies if we go to bonus gallery we should be able to unlock the alternate suits we need for that other trophy so we just unlock it like that and we get a new suit unlock all of these we have enough keys to do this so we're just gonna go ahead and unlock all of them here it is Yep, super suited swinger. And one more trophy. We're gonna go to chapter select, load up any chapter, doesn't matter. And we're gonna go to upgrades. And we have 65 golden spiders, which means we can fully upgrade this Spider-Man stamina and overdrive. This is the last thing I need to upgrade for the fully upgraded trophy. Gold standard. Now here's a trophy that truly exposed my IQ. You have to perform three of each type of grab attack on enemies. 
You can grab an enemy with R1 and then either press triangle, circle, or square. Those would all do different attacks. The trophy is as simple as that. But for some reason, I got confused and was going for another trophy that I already had done in the past, in which you have to perform three of each air attack on enemies. So they're kind of similar, but not the same. And I was so frustrated because I was doing this for like an hour and I wasn't seeing the trophy pop. Bro, this trophy's not popping for me, man. I'm doing the right thing. Oh my gosh. That was until it hit me. No way did I just do this, bro. I'm literally, I think, I think, I, I think I'm the dumbest person on the planet. Oh my gosh. I'm literally the dumbest person of all time. Oh man. I literally just had one more attack to do to get the trophy and I wasted so much time on it. Thank you, man. Two more trophies before we move on into the hard mode playthrough. One for getting a hundred hit combo, the other for getting a 200 hit combo. I did both in the exact same place and in the exact same way. So I'll just show the higher combo. I would basically swing kick these enemies until I had a decent combo built up, then just drop down and punch them continuously. We've done it, 200 hit combo, thank you. Oh, yes, was not hard at all, Twas not. Infinite Slugger. The last trophy before moving on into the third of the four games we're gonna be playing in this video was to beat this game on hard. I tried to get this done as fast as possible, so I was just speed running the entire game, skipping out on a lot of fights, skipping the cutscenes. I mean, I had already seen the cutscenes the first time around. And I was just excited to play the next Spider-Man game coming up because apparently it's a lot different. Because of my experience playing through the game on normal and also doing all of those combat challenges and everything, I was pretty good at the game at this point, so it was a breeze. All right, we're about to finish off the game on hard. It's probably been four or five hours of me playing playing this I, I just spit but i've been speed running this game and we're about to get this plot in a minute it's like 4 a.m i can't sleep until i get this plot all right cool walk away from the explosion or whatever and we should be getting our trophy here master of all you survey and Spider-Man Edge of Time Platinum. We gotta move on to the next Spider-Man game. And the cheapest one here, at least this one's only $22. Here it is, The Amazing Spider-Man, new game. And we have to play on superhero difficulty for hardcore players only. Now this playthrough of the game actually wasn't that hard. I did have some troubles later on in this Platinum playthrough, but all that came after the story. But I just played through the story regularly, defeating a lot of the bosses, while also grabbing collectibles at the same time. I wanted to reduce the amount of collectibles I have to clean up because there are a lot in this game. I just beat the game! Peter Parker, nice! Do we get any other trophies? I think we do. Yep, we got Vigilante and Spider-Man. So I've just beaten the game. We're over here swinging around the city. There's some collectibles that I missed out. So I'm gonna go grab those as the next step and then work on some of the other trophies that we have here. So I went through each level, getting the collectibles I needed until I came across a major problem. I'm so scared right now. I think my game is glitched. If this collectible is not here, I've searched every one of these places multiple times and I'm missing one collectible. I can't get the trophy without it. It's supposed to be right here in this corner. Like it's not here. I've checked every single spot. I don't, I don't know what to do. I've gotten every collectible there is to get here. I'm gonna go through this level one more time. If it doesn't work, I think I can only think of one option. I would have to start up a new playthrough. I guess get everything there again, which would be so annoying and set me back further for this video. This is my fourth time playing through this mission, man. Okay, the first one would be right here, but I already have it, so it's not there. Parts two and three are supposed to be in that corner and in this corner. They're not there. I already have them. The fourth piece is supposed to be right here on top of this box. It is not here, meaning that I already have it. I've checked every single spot there is to check in this level multiple times over. It is not here. That's it. It's over with. It's over with. My stuff is just, it's just glitched. Wait, is that it right there? Yes! Tech savvy! <laughs> I'm literally an idiot! <laughs> it's the second time in this video I've done like the stupidest thing ever. After getting all the collectibles, it was time to take on Rhino in the sewers for a trophy. Oh my gosh, we are taking on Rhino here in like some water plant. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. Oh my gosh! I'm pressing triangle. I'm, I'm so dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead. Wait, what? Link electrical wires. Here we go, finally. 
Okay, so... Ah! Yes! Nice! I suppose we do this multiple times over and we can beat him. Oh, there we go. Got him! What? I just... Okay. The web literally went up and now it's just not there. It seems as if we're doing pretty good. Nice! Well, we got down for the count. Next, I had to make it through this criminal infested bank and fight a boss at the end for another trophy. We've got to stop the bank robbery. Let's do this. So, we're going to hang from the ceiling. The thing I like about this Spider-Man game is it feels a lot more like the modern day ones. I'm going to stealth take down on this guy. They might see me though. Yeah, they, they definitely saw me. I'm going to zip over here and lose him. But I think this game definitely took inspiration from the Batman Arkham games if you've played those. Yeah, perfect. Just like this. Nice. Oh, wait. I can drop this chandelier thing. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, these. Yeah, they're dazed. Hold on. Let me uh, web tie them to the ground. Sheesh. That took out like three dude. Well, I knocked out more, but I couldn't, I couldn't web tie them all. Okay. Shoot my webs at this guy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get out of there. And then shoot my webs at this guy. So he can't shoot me. And then there should be one one more enemy. Where is he? Is he over here somewhere? Okay, I don't know what happened. I tried to web strike him, but it didn't work. But here we go. Okay, he's done. After making my way through the rest of the bank, it was time to take on the boss fight, which is Felicia, also known as Black Cat. All right, Felicia, I guess uh, we're fighting her again in another Spider-Man game. Shoot the webs at her, web strike, web strike again. Oh, she's running. Come out, come out wherever you are, Felicia. What if I crawled on the ceiling, try to catch her unexpectedly? Let's just see what would happen. You're not the only one who can hide, Felicia. There, yeah, look, 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 she's right there. Look, yep, my, my strategy worked. It worked. Come on, she gotta be like close to being finished. And after subduing her, we were able to get the trophy. And look at that, she's defeated, we get jinxed. Now, although I was done with the collectibles that were in the levels, there was still one very daunting collectible trophy I had to get. It's for getting 700 comic book pages throughout the entire city. I would swing around the city and grab as many as I can. And once you get 500, the last 200 start to show up on your mini map as these yellow dots. I spent several hours swinging around the entire city when I ran into this problem. I think this is the worst collectible experience I've ever been through. I need 10 more, but I like they're not they're not showing up. I don't know where they're at. Like I know where one of them is at. I'm literally going section by section, like street by street, swinging back and forth. The other ones are just not showing up. I've swung through the whole city. A quick look at the mini map here in the game shows all these different icons on the map. I saw online that these icons could potentially be blocking the yellow dots that show where the comic book pages are at. So I went through the process of clearing these out. I would need to do these for other trophies as well. Like these red ones are infected patients that you need to drop off at certain locations. Doing all these cleared up a lot of space on the map and it got me a trophy. Last civilian for the trophy. Come with me, buddy. Drop the off right here. There you go. Boom, sanitize. Some of the other icons to clear up were for doing car chases, extreme stunt challenges, and also photo ops where you just take pictures of things. After clearing most of the map, I started to find more of the pages. Let's go, another comic book. How many more left? Seven left, seven left, nice. And with a clear map, I didn't have much trouble finding the rest. Oh, I found it. The last comic page. It, I just saw it on the map here. This is it. This is it. Oh my gosh, that was like looking for a needle in a haystack. Oh my gosh, that is so relieving. Yes, on the fly. After this, I had to get a trophy where I took pictures of all the different enemies there are in the game. So I just went through each level doing this until I got it. I, I got it. I got it. Come on. That has to be it. Yes! Amazing Spider-Man. One more trophy for this platinum before we move on into the last Spider-Man game of this video. For the last trophy, we need to defeat some sort of robot without touching the ground. So the key to doing this is as the cutscene is playing out, I'm gonna hold R2 and I'll, I'll skip it. But yeah, if I hold R2 as the cutscene is playing out, it starts me off the fight swinging in the air. And we just need to beat this boss without touching the ground. So uh, shouldn't be too tough of a task, I hope. Just continuously hold R2, don't touch the ground at all. Web strike, game freezing up a little bit. PS3 game, well, what, what can you expect? Swing around, swing around, swing around. Web strike right here. 
He's opening up the behind. Let's get in there <laughs> and destroy that part. Spam square to take out his eyes. Spam square. Yes, this is the new PS5 controller. I am playing on it with PS3. I just plugged it in. That's all you have to do. Okay, we have to shoot webs at these blue, these blue lights on his legs. So just keep continuously swing around and just keep shooting, keep shooting just like that. And each one of his legs will fall down after enough shots. I think, I think that's it. Is there more to this fight? I don't remember. Okay, well, he touched the ground here, but that's out of my control. That's literally part of the cutscene. Yeah, th th this, this is out of my control, so that should give me the platinum. Yes! This guy's the limit! Does everything a spider can. This platinum was kind of annoying, but it's time to move on into the last Spider-Man game of this video. I am excited. $45, $6.10 shipping. Here we go, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, a sequel of the previous game. I actually played this one on my PS5. I bought the PS4 version of the game, and obviously you can play PS4 games on a PS5. But this game was also released on PS3, so we're throwing it in this video. Surprisingly, my first trophy was for getting a 42-hit combo. We got, I'm on a roll. And this is in a tutorial, first trophy of the game, nice. Throughout the story, you fight several bosses, such as Black Cat again. Craven, Green Goblin, Carnage, and more. By the end of the story, I had 23 of the 47 trophies. I think the best part of getting this platinum was just seeing all the crazy glitches that we have coming up. Some of them were so ridiculous. Like this one, for example. Bro, what? I was just punching this man and he's just glitched. Like, what is this? Man is literally just glitched. Wow, what a game. Okay, the game is over. Now I have to clean up more collectibles a lot of the trophies in this game are similar to the previous spider-man so i'm not going to show those i'm just going to show what's different in this game versus the previous one after getting all the collectibles i now had to get all the suits now you get suits in this game by doing various things a lot of them come from these russian hideouts and there's actually a trophy for completing all of them so this is the last russian hideout i need to complete for the infiltration trophy there's an awareness level meter at the top left so if that fills up i have to retry so we're gonna try to do this stealthily okay there's a guy coming here we gotta we gotta move we gotta move oh my gosh he's gonna see me get back on the ceiling drop down behind him take him out yes this guy right there, this guy right there. He didn't see me. Did you see how that, how high he just jumped? Whoa, that was weird. Okay. I didn't know man was like superhuman. That was the most unnecessary jump of all time. Like he literally could have just walked down there. He just said he jumped like a madman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop pointing that laser at me, bro. He's coming around the corner. Get up ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. Did he see me? The awareness meter is going super high. Okay, we gotta be careful, we gotta be careful. That guy keeps spotting me, or we're gonna go around, we're gonna go around. There's two guys right here. We're gonna go for this one that's closer to us. Okay, wait for this guy to turn around, and then, yep, perfect. Now we can take out this guy. Go to sleep, buddy. Um, okay, let, let's go to the ceiling, and then drop behind him, just like this. Nice, perfect. Looks like this guy found the the other guy. We gotta take him out. Ha! He looked like he was getting dragged in like a horror movie or something. Two more, two more, two more left, two more left. Perfect. All right, we managed to do it without uh, raising the awareness meter full. So now we just go here, press triangle, and we unlock a new suit, and we'll get the trophy. Mmm, okay, okay. Pretty cool. And we get the infiltration trophy. Now that I got all those suits from the Russian hideouts, I still had to get some from races. After completing five of these, I got a trophy. Fast tracker. And I'd also get another suit from completing all the combat challenges. There are 12 total and you just have to defeat enemies under certain conditions that make the combat a little bit harder. A couple interesting things happened as I was doing these. Number one, I got the trophy for defeating 500 enemies. Let's go, heavyweight champion. But number two, Spider-Man might've been hinting at something here. You don't gotta tell me twice. Survive, watch out for the fire. Okay, cool. Shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. But here we are on the last challenge. If I complete this, I get two trophies. All I gotta do is survive. What is this? I got the whole place up in flames? Survive, watch out for the fire. Okay, cool. Got this dude throwing bombs at me, bro. Back up. Whew. Nice. Okay, they changed up the fire pattern. Oh, the fire moves locations. No, 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 get out the, whoo, I'm in the fire. Pull him down. 
Nice. Oh my gosh, I got hit by another bomb. He's down. I kicked him into the fire. Sheesh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is... I don't have much space to fight. Oh, boy, please don't fail. This is not looking good. There's like no space. This guy keeps throwing uh, bombs at me. There's two of them throwing bombs at me. Oh my gosh. I just got hit by a bomb. That just did a lot of damage. I can't die here. This is literally the last one I need for the trophy. I'm, I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. I, yeah, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. There's no chance. I mean, I don't even have time to heal. That's a problem. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm so weak. I'm so weak. I'm, yep, 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 yep. Wait, I can tie this guy up. Oh, come on. Okay, we, we took one out. I think we did it. I clutched up. Yes. Luchador. Who? Complete all combat challenges. And we got Fashionista. Unlocked all suits. At this point, we were really close to the Platinum. All I pretty much had to do was to save 50 civilians, complete 10 building on fire situations, rescue situations, and deadlock situations for three separate trophies. Now I was able to save 50 civilians as I was doing the fire situations. Hero of the people, nice. Fireman. For the rescue situations, you simply free a person from this debris and then drop them off at the hospital. Guardian Angel. And for the deadlock situations, I basically had to take out a certain amount of enemies to help out the cops. They just sit back and do absolutely nothing as I take out everyone. We just got Enforcer. And while I only needed 10 for the trophy, I ended up doing a ton of these for the next one. For the last trophy, you had to fully upgrade every suit. There's 13 total, and I had to continuously replay these deadlock situations because they gave more XP than anything else in the game. And this is where all those funny glitches I mentioned from earlier started happening. Yo, what the heck? I literally webbed him and he's just stuck in the air. <laughs> what is this? Wow. What is this? How is he floating on top of the other guy? Absolutely no sense this game makes. We've seen some of the craziest things in this game. What the heck? How did that just happen? Despite the little funny glitches I experienced while doing this grind, it was actually very tedious. Each suit would take about half an hour to upgrade and it was 13 total. After doing the math, it's 390 minutes of grinding to get this done, which totals six hours of replaying the same deadlock missions over and over. Oh man. After completing one, he always repeats the same dialogue every time. I almost died just then. Dude says the same stupid jokes every time, man. I almost died just then. Of boredom. <sighs> Area res. I died just then. Of boredom. But a reused dialogue option wasn't gonna stop me from grinding this out. Oh man, the grind is about to be over. Four videos in one, or what am I saying? Four games in one video. I'm so excited I can't even speak. I just gotta do this last deadlock. I'm my suit level seven. I think after this one, I should be level 8. So we're just going to stealth take down on this guy in the roof. Stealth take down. Do another. One more. Rather not fight unless I have to. I'm going to have to fight these guys right here. Oh! I got it! I don't even need to finish Ultimate Spider-Man. I don't even need to finish it. We got it! Does everything a spider can! Four Spider-Man Platinums in one video. It took me like two weeks of recording. Oh my gosh. I have now Platinumed every Spider-Man game that has ever had trophies. If you never saw me do Spider-Man Miles Morales, I have a video here on the screen for you to watch.